Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new, very different video for me. I am going to do a sit down, talk through makeup effects transformation. Yes, no voiceovers today, we're trying something new. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are gonna turn into Ron Weasley, but with a little creepy twist, all in the same video this time, because we're gonna do the slugs coming out of his nose and mouth. Ron Weasley is definitely the goofball of Harry Potter, the series in the books and movie, we're gonna do the Ronald Weasley from the movie. He is so cute and adorable. I know I've done Harry Potter before on this channel. I've also done Hermione with a creepy twist. So I thought, why not do Ronald Weasley since he has such an epic failure of a weird thing happening to him with the slugs barfing out of his mouth when a spell backfires. That would definitely happen to me if I went to Hogwarts. I could relate, I feel like. So we're gonna turn into him and have those barfing slugs. So let's get started and get this hair out of the way today. This is gonna be so interesting because I do not look like Ron Weasley. I am a Asian Native American female. Let's get that wig cap. And an unlucky thing for me is I can't find my Hogwarts Gryffindor tie for my outfit. So just a fair warning for all of you Harry Potter fans, I know. So Ronald Weasley is definitely a pale boy. I am going to get some primer for that. Ron Weasley has a skin tone that almost looks like he's sick, not knocking him. Still think he's cute. If I had to date Harry or Ron, I probably would have dated Ron because I feel like we're both goofballs and we relate more to each other. Harry just has so much pressure and expectations on him. It would stress me out. Getting my Mayron Cream Blends palette, getting the lightest shade in there to do this foundation. I'm not even gonna put concealer because Ron is the plain Jane, all natural, beautiful boy. So we can't forget them ears, girl. Can't forget the under the chin. We don't want a mask or a neck, we need the neck. If you think I look ghost white now, just you wait. I am getting this highlight contour palette from Graftobian. This is the lightest shade in it. We're gonna use it to highlight because Ron Weasley's nose is totally different than mine. Where the skin and where his nostrils are is wider. He also has a pointier tip on his nose, so I'm gonna mimic that with makeup. So getting the lightest shade, doing the highlight marks, and definitely the nostrils. He also has deep set laugh lines because he's always smirking at the girls he likes. Oh yeah, him and Hermione, they were a couple. He also has this lip thing right here. I'm gonna highlight it because it like, he always bites his lip and it's super prominent, so I'm gonna make that lip prominent in my chin. He always has these eye bags, which I mean, I'm showcasing them today. And since he's a male, he definitely has a larger brow bone than I do. So I'm definitely gonna be highlighting that as well. With another brush in the contour shade, I'm gonna start reshaping my nose to hopefully look a little bit like Ron. He definitely has better cheekbones than I do, so let's make that clear. And he definitely has a jawline. So for these jaw lines, I'm gonna use the big beauty blender, but then we're gonna go in with the baby avocado one that I call for these highlight marks and stuff to blend it nicely. He has so much expression in like his mouth area. Gotta get that double chin though. And I'm doing the sides of my forehead as well because most males, they have a more prominent forehead and brow area than us fate males do. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. He has some shadow here, I'm gonna tap it. It's like I'm trying to pick boogers with my brush. I also related to Ron so much because his parents were so weird and they collected things. My parents are odd as well and they collect antiques. This needs to be highlighted because it's gonna bring more attention to his mouth and he's all about the fear. The fear of showing his affection for girls, of spiders, you know. I totally understand her on. Let's do them ginger brows, shall we? My favorite brow brush is this one for effects. This is um, 
It's a, it's called Sword One Fourth by Simply Something. It's an art brush. And my favorite brow product is the Poise Multitask Creams. This one for ginger brows. She is everything. I used her for Merida. I'm looking at pictures of Ron. You need to look at reference pictures while you're doing this. I'm looking at him throughout the years and his hair got lighter. I'm going to mix in with that lighter shade to get like a blonde ginger of our highlight because his brows are like subtle. Is it weird for me to talk with my voice while you're looking at me like this? That's a new thing. I asked you guys on the community tab, been loving that feature on YouTube, if I should do videos this way. So I'm super excited about it. Gingers are so underrated. Just going back in with that foundation shade from the Mayron palette to clean up around certain contours and highlights that are a little too, you know, could be messy. And Ron Weasley needs a little bit of rosiness on his cheeks, so dipping into that Mayron palette and I'm uh, gonna use that. Little rosiness on the ginger boy. I love cream blushes. What I like to do is dab with the color on one end of the beauty blender and blend it out with the other cleaner side of it. Let's put a little bit of redness on our lip. We need to powder under them eyes because we are creasing. Ron is like shook. He's having a little bit of a breakdown. So I'm gonna get a tiny fluffy brush with Maybelline Fit Me powder. Any powder you want. I'm just gonna like set my under eyes and blend some of this to look more natural, not like a harsh contoured, you know? Let's get into our outfit. This is my Ed Sheeran wig. And if you did not know, the actor that played Ronald Weasley, Rupert Grint, he was in an Ed Sheeran music video. So there's that little fact for you. I don't have the tie and it's making me so sad and angry, but I do have this. When I turned into Donald Trump, he left a stain, but we're just gonna pretend like that's not there. Ron needs his cloak for school, man, you know? I feel like he would have this a little bit. Yeah, let's do, oh, it's choking. Okay, and Ronald Weasley definitely has blue eyes. Let me take out my current contact lenses. So I can't see more than four feet in front of me now. <laughs> and put in some blue ones. These are from chemoeyes.com. And they have hints of gray in it, so it looks more natural. This is our look of Ron Weasley before we put on the slugs and a creepy twist. I think I have his goofy smile down. I hope you guys think it looks like him because we're gonna do something very crazy. So now we're gonna cut to how I made the slugs I'm gonna put on my face. So I should have filmed this when I did my Pirates of the Caribbean makeup for Regal Cinemas on my channel, but that was for their channel. But now I'm showing you here. These are candy molds I got from Amazon. The last time I did this, ooh, they have smiley faces. That's weird, I'm gonna have to cut those off to make it look more realistic. But these are gonna be our slugs for the Ron Weasley prosthetic that we're gonna put on our face. And the last time I did this, I didn't have a silicone, so hopefully this will be easier. You also need Miss Pamela Anderson spray, Pam. You know, any type of cooking spray will do. This is what I had. And you need a measuring cup for your gelatin. Speaking of gelatin, here's my gelatin. And I'm gonna cut this up with some scissors. And I'm going to paint them today with some airbrush makeups that are from Graftobian in my slug-like colors that are gonna be yellow tone with little hints of brown in it. Ooh, I should get some green. Hold up, let me get that. I also got a mold green color. You're also gonna need some baby powder to lift the prosthetic with any type of fluffy tiny brush. I'm gonna put my baby powder in a little cup here. 
Reference picture of a slug. I always have my iPad handy and hopefully charged when I film these videos. So there's no real pictures of the exact slug from the movie online I couldn't find. So they kind of look like this, I'm figuring. So that. And I also need some isopropyl alcohol with four, I should say, these alcohol paints. These are alcohol activated paints. I love Skin Illustrator, Rural Creations, the creator of this taught me how to do beard work. He's amazing, Mr. Fred Blau. And these are just gonna be for the end results paint after I pop out the prosthetics. So let's get started with these prosthetics. You can also do this with like a liquid latex. This is the FX gelatin in a flesh tone. It's kind of gross looking. This always creeps me out, cutting gelatin. The smaller the pieces, the better, because we're going to put this in the microwave for about 10 second intervals till it smoothly melts. Ugh, I just hate the sound of that and the look of me cutting fake flesh. I hope this doesn't get me kicked off. Oh, this is a YouTube. But you want to guesstimate how much fake skin you're going to need for we're doing eight slugs. Just in case like any of them have air bubbles or don't come out looking that well, we'll have backups. I'd rather make too many than not enough, but not like way too many to where I have a hundred slugs for one face, you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna melt this in the microwave. Okay, we are back. I did this for about 30 seconds and 10 second intervals. Now I'm going to put this in. You also need a spatula or like even a plastic butter knife will work well. I'm going to put some of my airbrush paints in here. Oop. Little bit of brown, little bit of yellow. Little bit of green to make the slug color. We might need more yellow. Well, let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, that's very brown, it just turned brown. Put some white and yellow in it. White. Yellow. You could even spray those molds that I'm gonna spray before you do this so that you're not running out of time because gelatin could set fast. I think this is the right color, so it's a light enough, like, gross yellow brown, like a slug. So now, we are going to spray these down. Cooking spray. And then we are going to get another paper towel. You wanna like get some of the pools, but still leave the, there. And start pouring into your molds. The first one was kind of ratchet. She was kind of poured a little too much. This makes me want to eat chocolate. These are candy molds and this is not edible. But because it kind of looks like milk chocolate if you mixed milk chocolate with mustard. And let's try to make these a little more even. Okay, she's drying up. So let's let her sit and then it's going to be able to peel out when this is totally dry. Again, I wouldn't use something that you use in your actual kitchen. I would use something that you just have for your effects. And it's safe to do this in your microwave, but it kind of smells, to be honest, as long as you don't have it splatter on your microwave, or and if you do, you clean it. I'm gonna set this in, you can put this in your freezer to set. Cross your fingers, I'm gonna put these in the freezer for a little bit, and when it's totally dry, we'll pop her out. Okay, now the gelatin molds are here. As you can see, these are the first ones. Very bubbly, uneven, and when they're cold, they feel like, they could feel like they're still wet sometimes, but I promise you that's just the coldness you're feeling, and also that spray feels a little gooey. So I'm gonna get some baby powder, put it in my little container, and I am going to lift these out of the molds with some powder. These look like little dog poopies. <laughs> I chose the perfect color. <laughs> My little Yorkie Terry left you a present. <laughs> We're just gonna lift all of these out. See, these ones came out a lot better. 
and they're more even on the bottom. She's a keeper. I love these candy molds. They make prosthetics so easy. I'm just going to do candy mold prosthetics from now on. We're just gonna throw these away. I just wanted to see what they look like because I had so much gelatin that I can't save. Okay, we're gonna wash these. But this is so extra. This is an X-Acto knife. I don't know why Benefit gave me an X-Acto knife, but they did. It's actually a box cutter. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all these edges. Make sure you don't do this on your family's countertop. I'm cutting their eyes off. This is very graphic and gruesome sounding. Now these have the ridges on it, but I think you get the gist of it. And um, paint her. I'm gonna mix this yellow with some tan. See when they dry, paint doesn't really show up as much, so we have to wait till they dry to really see what your paint job looks like sometimes. Now, we're gonna go in with a darker brown. Where's a dark brown? Here's a red brown. That would be good. And let's do that brown. These are gonna look so gross. I can't wait. And here's our painted slugs that we're gonna paste on our face. Can't wait. They look like little dog poopies, but hopefully on the face they won't look like that. <laughs> what I didn't say in the slug video is you could definitely get some makeup setting spray to set the makeup on this, but we're gonna have it coming out of our nose. Uh, the things I do for makeup. Oh, YouTube, look what you made me do. Oh, that's so cool. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh, eh. Hope you guys liked this video of me turning it wrong with the slugs. Super creepy and eerie. Please make sure you use blood that's safe for your mouth if you're gonna put it actually in your mouth because I didn't have it in my mouth, but you know what I mean? Shoving that slug up my nose actually hurt a little bit and stung, so watch out for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Time for me to turn back into myself. Please leave me a comment on what you wanna see next. And you could follow me on Twitter, Instagram, I'm everywhere. If you do this makeup or any makeup on my YouTube channel, please post it on Instagram. Tag me, hashtag catsketch. I love to see your guys' stuff. Honestly, it's like my favorite thing. This was such a different video for me. Also, let me know if you guys like these types of videos where I'm just talking to you, going through it, because trying different things out, you know? I need to expand my horizons. That Trump makeup on this white shirt's never gonna go away. I don't know why, I didn't even use tanner for that, but it just did not work out. Well, I hope this makeup of Ron did. I think it came out cool. I hope I did some Harry Potter fans justice cause I myself love Harry Potter. Ron for the win. I would so date him. Ooh, girl. I don't know, I think he's cute. Maybe that's just me but my nose still burns a little bit from those slugs. Watch out because the candy molds that I use, I will list everything I use in this video down in the description box below. Candy molds I use, they uh, separated them into more like coiled looking worms and they will break off into your mouth if you unfortunately bite too hard. Ooh, they look like gummy worms gone wrong. You know what it reminded me of? Creepy crawlers, my childhood fantasy. If you ever heard of creepy crawlers, they're like a um, easy bake, but for creepy people like me that grew up on X-Files and ghost shows, but they're bugs that you could eat and you make your own gummy bugs. Yes, so I was living out my fantasy with that, but I can't eat those. Anyways, thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.